In this video, we're going to forecast oil based on the uh, a compositional forecast uh, on the water oil ratio. So first of all, we're going to start with a well. <clears throat> you should prepare your uh, well, as you see here, a, a semi-log plot looking at oil and water. We're going to select the uh, water values and a few points from that line. And I'm going to create a new forecast right clicking in that box. New forecast using selection. I'm going to select the right, uh, the proper naming convention for this forecast. Say OK. Accept that uh, right now anyway as, uh, as valid. Now we're going to come over here to the QM tab. And on the QM tab, we also need to be semi log. So we're going to go over here, change the scaling to semi log. And the one thing we're missing here is the is the value of the water oil ratio. So we're going to we're going to add that variable by selecting it here, the water oil ratio. Okay, so now we have a water oil ratio line. And I'm going to uh, create a new forecast based on that line. Select the uh, correct naming convention for a uh, water oil ratio forecast. But right here, we're going to make a difference. We're going to come down here. Since since uh, we have a QM oil value for the x-axis, we have to relate that QM to time using a forecast. And we're going to use the forecast uh, for that as being the uh, compositional forecast uh, water oil ratio. So the composition method, notice you have two choices here. One is fluid over 1 plus water oil ratio or water over water, water oil ratio. And we're going to select that water over wa water oil ratio. The rate forecast is going to be based on what we forecast with our water. And the output forecast, the compositional forecast output is going to be oil. We're going to say OK. Now we don't see anything here yet because we haven't selected that variable, the oil forecast variable, to be on this plot. So we're going to come over here as we've done before, right click in the legend area and select variables. Open this up and there you see the correct naming convention for the oil forecast. We'll select that and now we see our oil forecast here. Let's go back uh, to the time and let's add the oil forecast here. So again in the legend box I'm going to right click and select a variable and show the oil forecast here as well. And there it is. I'll click and drag down here just so we can see the end of the line. Now one thing uh, you may choose to modify these forecasts. You want to make sure that you right click on these forecasts that we just added, the oil forecast, and make sure that auto recalc is, is set so that whatever you do to the water forecast or the water oil ratio forecast, the oil forecast is automatically recalculated. And it's the same over here on the QM. You want to you want to select this oil forecast and just make sure that auto recalc is set on. And that's how you do a water oil ratio compositional forecast in PEEP.